When you experience awareness in a conversation, you make empowered choices and co-create better results in communication. Are you following the collective's model of relationships or are you open to explore a new way of seeing life or perceiving relationships in general? My name is Liliana Martins and welcome to In Your Element TV. Today's episode is for your awareness only. Awareness of the dynamics that happen between two people in either a divine feminine centered relationship or divine masculine one. We will be working on your spiritual body, which is represented by the fire element. Please see our previous episodes on this series of Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Energies so you get acquainted with our new concept on relationship dynamics. For the purpose of this video and its content integration, we will be using John as your main character of the story and examples of his daily life situations in terms of Divine Masculine dynamic. Remember to like, subscribe and notify so we can all go through these times together. Let's begin! So like I said, John is our main character and we had started the journey with John in the other episodes, so please refer to them in our playlist. But John today, we're going to be dissecting his wounds, what he wants to work in a dynamic where he is the divine masculine energy and he's very conscious that that's what he wants to work on. So John. Uh, was looking for a relationship with someone who would support him as a divine feminine and he met Paula. Now Paula had the qualities of a divine feminine that attracted John to her. So let's analyze for your awareness only uh, certain a few situations where uh, the dynamic can happen and then we'll see how we can use the consciousness of this episode to bring awareness to your relationships okay so john met paula and they are in a relationship so she's going to work the divine feminine energy so i will call it dia and john is the one who's going to work the dm energy the divine masculine okay so what are the qualities that john requires from paula um because John is a builder, he made his life as a builder, full-time builder, and he still is, so he's still working as a full-time builder, quite successful, he's made a life for himself, and Paula is his partner now, and he is planning to acquire skills as a landscaper because that has been his dream. Now, to do that, to acquire those extra skills as a landscaper, now John needs to study part-time. And for that, he's going to need the best divine feminine qualities that Paula can offer him. As you know, there are loads of qualities in divine feminine energy, but I'm just going to name some of them here and feel free to do your own research on that and to, uh, when you need to, to analyze your own relationships. But for this uh, episode purposes, we're going to look at Paula being someone very supportive, uh, caring, loving, um, intuitive, uh, someone who's very receptive, like very um, inward and nice, and also someone who is very um, creative. And like I said, feel free to do your own research. Now, John, he works full time and he's now going to study part time during the week. He's not going to have much time for Paula. And for that, he's going to be doing this for the next three months and then maybe take it further depending on how he's studying, going and the acquisition of his skills. So for the next three months at least, he's not going to have time for Paula. So whilst he study, what does he require from Paula? When he is 
When, when he comes home from work and he needs to study, he needs Paula to be supportive. And how can Paula be supportive towards him? She will probably um, care for him in a sense of um, she'll be the person who cooks most of the time. So when he comes home, he'll have the meal ready. Um, if John was someone before who would help, let's say, with the dishes or with whatever chores they needed in the house, they would, he now requires Paula to take charge and to do that. Um, whilst he comes home, he relaxes for a, a little bit and then he goes into studying because every night he needs to put in at least minimum two to three, two hours studying on top of his full-time work. So whilst he's studying, there'll be two to three hours um, every day, I'd say, until he gets his qualifications, his first qualifications. So these are the dynamics that he is, will require from Paula as a supportive and caring divine feminine. If um, another scenario could be that he comes home stressed because he has a full-time job, and this full-time job is a builder, so something went wrong or he had a problem at work, and now he comes home, he's very stressed, and on top of that, he now needs to study as well, and he can't have, he doesn't have any, you know, concentration, he's irritable. When he arrives home, Paula has to be very intuitive. So she has to be really attentive and also intuitive because she's gonna recognize straight away that he's stressed. She's gonna recognize straight away that he's wounded because something happened at work. And at the same time, she also knows and she bases on her knowledge that he still has to study. So as a loving person that she is for John, she probably, the moment that he walks through the door and he's, he's, she can see he's wounded, irritated, she listens. This is another very good skill that he requires from the Divine Feminine. She's a good listener. So she will listen to him and be a space holder. So she will, not, she will, will prevent from giving him her opinion at this stage, because probably all he wants to do is vent out. And then may, if she, in her loving uh, capacity, she probably even go and prepares him a bath where he can go in and relax. And then in the meantime, while he has the bath, she can prepare the meal and then he eats and he's now absolutely relaxed um, to be able to tackle his study. So that's an example of what a divine, um, a wounded divine masculine would need from a divine feminine energy. So we're talking energies here. I'm giving John as, a, as an example, but this is no gender specific, okay? Now, another scenario could be that John now also, um, not only that, but he has no time for Paula. So now his time is really, really limited. And Paula obviously is gonna feel that on a daily basis. So how can she support him? So obviously she's going to be very supportive towards him, but also she's going to be very receptive of the fact that now the dynamics, the daily dynamics, physical dynamics especially have changed. So she will accommodate that. And how can she do that? She can become very creative, very creative in her daily life. She might take the opportunity that these three months offer her to maybe go and look for extra skills herself. She can also maybe catch up with her friends, which you never have time for, or even go and visit her mother, her fa his father, relatives, whatever. She might catch up on some reading or watch the programs that she always wanted to watch on her own that he doesn't like. So, you know, you, you use your creativity to create an atmosphere that also is relaxed, is, is receptive. So when John comes home for the next three months at least, he feels that he, he can um, express himself uh, in his wounded self. These are just examples uh, for you to be aware of how you can work your dynamic in your relationships. Obviously, like I said, use your imagination, do your own research, and you'll be able to find uh, different qualities and observe yourself 
when you are wounded if you find yourself in a divine masculine centered dynamic um, relationship so that's all i have for you for today and i do hope that this has brought something new and fresh to your interpretation and your vision and your perception of your own relationship so when if you're single if you're looking for a relationship that might give you food for thought if you are in a relationship that can give you opportunity to grow and expand just by uh, having a different approach and that sometimes is already something that changes the dynamic of a relationship so make sure that you are conscious of who you are within your relationship and it doesn't have to be romantic it could be family it could be friendship it could be any relationship so for now that's all i have for you today Remember to give us your feedback if you find that we are the right community and this content resonates with you. Leave a note in the comments box if you have any conscious ideas, requests or suggestions. We would love to hear from you. For more content, visit our website and follow us at any of our social media platforms. See you in the Vortex. Goodbye.